Hi everyone, I hope everyone is good. Uh, this is going to be as usual a Lebanese Arabic lesson and as always when I say Lebanese it means it's the Levantine dialect which is spoken in Lebanon, Jordan, Palestine and Syria. All of these fall under the same category of the Levantine dialect and of course each country has its own accent. Hi, hi Mayo and uh, yeah, let's wait one minute for everyone to sign in. I'm a little tired today. Excuse my appearance. My mom was like, I told my mom I'm going live and she said, at least put on a nice t-shirt, nice new t-shirt, you know, <laughs> but it's okay. What matters is that it will be good content. Yala, let's wait a couple of minutes. By the time everyone signs in, I want to let you know, guys, that I run Lebanese Arabic 30 day challenge courses. And these are very, very, very intensive courses. And there are levels all the way from absolute beginners until advanced. And uh, I always say to my students, yes, it's very nice to learn on social media, on TikTok, a small video here, a short lesson there. But it's also very, very, very important to learn a language with structure. So whenever you take these lessons here on TikTok, take them as a bonus. But also remember that it's also important to learn with a roadmap, with a with something, with a program that gives you short term and long term goals. And it takes you from point A to point B to point C. And you have like in front of you a chart that tells you exactly what you're going to learn on every day. So like that, it gives you a discipline to learn the language. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to start. Uh, so basically, I went on to Instagram and I said, okay, what lesson do you want me to do? I'm just going live on TikTok. And one of the students there said, how about you do a lesson about ways to give a compliment, but not uh, like to family members. She said, what if I want to give a compliment to my mother-in-law? So I'm going to make a lesson now about co uh, about compliments that we can give to people, but not necessarily in a flirtatious way. These are not the flirtatious ways of giving compliments. These are like just compliments that are nice and warm words we can use to, to say to friends, family members, and a lot of times to older people. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to turn my camera to show you like with who you can use these okay so basically um كيف منقول woman بالعربي how do we say woman in arabic and with a lebanese accent i have it written in front of me but i want to ask you كيف منقول woman كيف منقول man how do we say man how do we say father how do we say mother يلا tell me how do we say them before i turn my camera i'm gonna wait one second because tiktok takes some time hi everyone yeah, I'm going to turn my camera and show you in that case because it, it's taking some time. So basically, if you want to say woman, you say mara. Notice how here I wrote it with an alif. I, I wrote mara, mara. But in the Lebanese dialect, we don't pronounce mara. We say mara, mara. And here I wrote it with the uh, Latin letters so to those of you who don't read Arabic. Mara, yani woman. Thank you, thank you everyone. And رجال رجال يعني man. As always, say it out loud, okay? Don't just sit there and yeah, I'm listening, I'm learning. No, if you're not saying it out loud, there will be something missing in your learning, okay? So say them out loud and later on, say them, uh, uh, write them down because I upload this lesson, okay? So مرة رجال And you can say زلمي. Somebody wrote زلمي. It's true. Okay, check it out. Zalame umara. Zalame is more like um, colloquial. Rijil is maybe more like the, the actual word for it. But in Lebanon, we use a lot the words zalame. So, mara, rijil. And then, uh, but here, a lot of times we use it like one word. You will understand why I put mara and rijil here. To, to give compliments to your spouse or, you know, to your husband, wife, like that. Okay. The next one is bay. Yani father, bay. Okay, look, it's written here also with the Roman alphabet. Bay. And then M is mother. Say them out loud, okay? So, Mara, woman. Rajil, man. Bay, father. M, mother. And today I'm going to do so many expressions about the Hama. Notice here in how there is a Te Marbuta which we don't pronounce when the word is on its own. I'm just pronouncing Hama. 
Hama. That's how we say it in the Lebanese dialect. Hama. It means mother-in-law. Okay? And lo notice here I wrote it Hama. I didn't write the Temarbuta. But if I want to add, let's say, a possessive ending to it to say my, my mother-in-law, which is the A, I'm not going to say Hama A. I'm going to say Hamete. Say with me out loud. Hamete. Three syllables. On its own, it's Hama. Hama. Am usually means uncle, but in this case, I'm going to use it to refer to the father-in-law. Am, okay? Am, am, hamme, hama, hamete. And then we have brother is khay, khay, sister is ukhut. Okay, I'm going to repeat them very fast. And you choose whoever you want by changing the names of the people while you're giving the compliment, okay? So, yalla, say out loud with me. Mara, woman. Rijjel, man. Bay, father. M, mother. Hama, mother-in-law. Am, uncle. Or, father-in-law. Khay, brother. Ukhut, sister. Okay, yeah. I'm going to show you the first expression. We will read it and then I will explain it to you. Here it says, Mittel, Mittel, yalla, say out loud with me. Mittel means like or just like. Mittel, il hama, il hama, the mother-in-law. Now with the liaison, I'm not going to say Mittel, il hama. I will say Mittel, il hama, Mittel, il hama. Mittel, il hama, will kinne. Kinne is uh, the daughter-in-law, basically, okay? Mithl al-hama wal kinne. Yalla, say it out loud. Mithl al-hama wal kinne. Look how it's written here. Mithl al-hama wal kinne. This is not a compliment, but because I was talking a lot about the mother-in-law, I, I remember this expression that we use a lot in Lebanon. Yalla, tell me, what do you think it means? Mithl al-hama wal kinne. Like the mother-in-law and the daughter-in-law. Daughter Why do you think this a lot? And by the way, we make lots of jokes about the hama and the kinne in the Arab culture, specifically also in Lebanon, we do it a lot. Why do we, why do you think we do this? And what does it mean when you say, mitl al-hama wal kinne? Yalla, say out loud. I'm going to wait. It always takes a minute for you guys to respond. Shri'ani mitl al-hama wal kinne. You can guess it if you've never heard it before. Shu. No one wants to say it. Yalla, somebody say it. Oh, there are seven messages I didn't see. Uh, but no one gave me the answer. Like the mother-in-law and the daughter-in-law. It's true, but what do you think? What do you think the expression means? Why do we say مثل الحما والكنّة? Why do you think that would be an expression? Hi, everyone. Yalla, tell me. مثل الحما والكنة like the mother-in-law and the daughter-in-law شو يعني؟ I don't want to tell you I want someone to guess it يلا like just you know you can guess it like use your maybe because the daughter-in-law replaces the mother by cooking and cleaning no it's not that I don't know I suspect it's a compliment it's not a compliment and no one likes their mother-in-law so both are bad Kind of, exactly. So basically, when we say that two people are مثل الحما والكنة, like the mother-in-law and the daughter-in-law, it means they argue a lot. Yes, that's the one. It's very good. It means they argue, of course I do. It means they argue a lot. It means they uh, fight a lot. You know, they're always having clashes. مثل الحما والكنة. Yes, it's nice to love them as well, you know. It's not always the case. But, you know, it's sometimes we can use it as a joke. So whenever you see two people who argue a lot or have fights or, you know, not necessarily in a bad way, you can say, مثل الحما والكنة يعني you're always arguing, okay? يلا. So the first compliment that you can give, since it's, Layan, since you like your mother-in-law, you, يلا, here are some compliments you can give her. So you can say, يلا, let me turn my camera. You can say, أحلى. Hama 
Thank you everyone. I'm gonna respond later on. You can say أحلى حما بالدنيا. أحلى حما بالدنيا. Notice I didn't say حمت. Not pronouncing the tema buta there. أحلى حما بالدنيا. أحلى حما بالدنيا. Are you saying out loud with me? Type yes or no. شو؟ So أحلى حما بالدنيا means literally the most beautiful. Hama means mother-in-law, as I said. Biddini, in the world. Ahla Hama biddini, the most beautiful uh, mother-in-law in the world. But when we say Ahla Hama, very good, everyone. When you say Ahla Hama biddini, it doesn't have to be like you're complimenting the beauty of the, of the mother-in-law. No, it's usually a way to say like you are the best mother-in-law. So if you want to say best da -da -da, in the world, you can say Ahla. So I gave you at the beginning of the lesson some of the family members. So if you want to say, for example, best, actually yesterday was Father's Day. If you want to say, you are the best dad in the world. How would you say it? I told you, I gave you the list. Bay, M, Uchet, Chay. So how can I say, you're the best dad in the world? Inta, mm mm Sure. Yalla, I'm gonna wait. So we said, Ahla Hama Biddini, best mother in law in the world. And Ahla, as I said, means the most beautiful. No, not Bayilkil. That's another expression, actually. And it's nice that you know it. But how do you say you're the best dad in the world or you're the most, uh, you're the best mom in the world? Yes, good Rosie. Ahla Bay Biddini. Check out Rosie's comment. أحلى بي بالدنيا the most beautiful father أحلى أخت بالدنيا the most beautiful sister in the world أحلى أم بالدنيا the most beautiful mother بالدنيا very good يلا so أحلى حما بالدنيا so you can give her a compliment whether whether you like her a lot or you don't like her a lot you can say أحلى حما بالدنيا and Actually, when you know, when you give com you you over give compliments in Arabic. Actually, let me write it down. I didn't write it here. When you over give compliments in Arabic, we say, "Be by am, يعني am be byed wish am be byed wish." Literally, you're saying he's whitening face. He's whitening the face. Actually, we also have a funny expression that means uh, the same thing. And we say, عم ببيض طناجر. He's whitening pots. Okay. عم ببيض طناجر. Or you can say to the person, ما تبيض وجه. Don't whiten faces. يعني don't give fake compliments, you know. يعني just sometimes to get something from the person, you know. Or I don't know. يعني it's not real compliments. ما تبيض وجه. أو ما تبيض that's slang of course ما تبيض تناجر don't whiten pots okay I just typed it let me turn my camera to uh, to show you how we wrote it so basically why did I ex exactly write the expression here إنه عم ببيض وجه or عم ببيض تناجر because usually when you're speaking to mother-in-law and you're saying all these amazing things maybe you're not meaning it maybe you do you know so عم ببيض وجه عم ببيض وجه يعني literally he is whitening he's whitening face that's what it means literally he's whitening face which means he is يعني giving fake compliments okay let me write it in Latin letters عم ببيض Wish. But guys, I always tell you, I'm writing it now just for those of you who are on TikTok and who can't write. Let me turn my camera because this is very, very important. Okay, but please, please, please don't rely on the Latin letters forever. It's very, very, very important to, even if your purpose is just to speak Arabic, it's very important to read and write the, the script. Why? Because, okay, when I'm texting to my sister, I don't text in Arabic or when I'm texting informally to friends, family members, even if I'm speaking Arabic, I don't use the Arabic script. I don't do this. I do this. I, I say, عم ببيض وجه. Okay, but even if I don't do this, it's very important to learn both. It's very important to learn informally the Latin letters to speak to friends and family. But it's also very important to know the Arabic script because 
if you become a little more advanced let's say upper intermediate uh, uh, upper beginner okay how will you use the books to learn because books are written in arabic so yalla do it it's i promise 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 you who did it with me please tell them how easy it is it's not easy but it's very doable much less complicated than people think i can teach you the alphabet fully in two weeks and you can start reading slowly in one month in two months you can be decent enough and fluent enough in reading so get it out of your way and learn it okay yalla so عم ببيض وجه شو يعني عم ببيض وجه يعني he's giving fake compliments and if it's um, like slang it's if you want to say it in the slang way you can say عم ببيض طناجر he's whitening pots okay which means he's just giving compliments that are not real okay عم ببيض طناجر so i'm gonna write here وجه and طناجر Okay, I'm be by it tanajer. And if I want to say to someone, okay, stop it, stop giving fake compliments, I say mat by yid wish, mat by yid wish. So mat by yid wish, mat by yid wish. And if you want to say it to a girl, you say mat by de wish, mat by de. So t by yid. If you're saying it to a man, t by de. If you yes, mas ajur. <laughs> Met by the wish, and if it's feminine, it's Met by the wish. Met by the two syllables. Met by the wish, okay. And of course, Met by the tanager or Met by the tanager. Don't white and pot. So today's lesson basically is all about to be tanager. It's all about whitening pots, okay. So we said the best mother-in-law in the world. What did we say? What does it mean? أحلى حما بالدنيا. Now let's read the next expression and see what it means. It's a little bit difficult to translate that word, but I'll try my best. يلا. Let's flip the camera. It says here. يلا. Say it out loud with me. Are you saying out loud with me? نيل 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 نيل. I wrote here يلا نيل يلا. But together you will pronounce it Niyelli 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 Four syllables Niyelli Say it with me Niyelli Ando Niyelli Ando Hama Mitlik Niyelli Ando Hama Mitlik Ah Yalla Did you memorize it? Not yet, but say it out loud. نيل اللي عنده حما مثلك. What does it mean? نيل. I just find this word so common but so difficult to explain in English. يعني lucky is kind of like that. Lucky. Lucky is the person who نيل. Like yeah, you know. Uh, if you in English, like if I want to say, oh, I envy you. You you know when somebody's going on a vacation, you say, oh, I envy you. In Arabic, you say niyelak. It's not a verb. It's niyel and your niyel. Like you are lucky. Niyel. So here we're saying niyel اللي عنده. Lucky is the person who has niyel اللي عنده. Hama mitlik. A mother-in-law like you. Niyel اللي عنده. Hama mitlik. Like I wish I could be that person who has a mother-in-law like you. Or lucky is the person who has a mother-in-law. Like you, yes. نيل اللي عنده حما مثلك. Do you like your حما? Write it down here if yes. Okay. So يلا. If you if you feel you know the expression, even write down the expression here in the comment box. نيل اللي عنده حما مثلك. But if I want to say, lucky is the one who has a wife like you, or lucky is that's good. Lucky is the one. Who it? It sometimes it's the other way around. It's the mother-in-law that doesn't like the kid. I never had any like that. Oh, by the way, as a joke, uh, I I refer even to uh, someone who is my boyfriend, his mother. I also refer to her as Hamete, even if she's not officially Hamete. But we say it like as a fun, humorous way of saying it. Okay, so I never had a Hamet who didn't like me. Thank God. Okay, and I never had a Hamet I didn't like. Did I? Never. No. I always like them. Okay, so uh, if you want to say 
lucky is the person who has a wife like you or lucky is the person who has a husband like you how are we going to say it كيف بنقولها so نيال اللي عنده حما مثلك lucky is the person who has a mother in law like you yalla write me how do you say lucky is the person who has a wife like you or lucky is the person who has a um, uh, husband like you how do you say it why do people say lebanese people speak with a very distinct arabic accent i will explain at the end of the lesson okay so we don't get like carried away with this because it is something that requires explanation شو يلا how do we say it but we don't speak very different we speak like palestinian jordanian syrian and lebanese because geographically we're close to each other نيال اللي عنده اوكي حما مثلك اوكي we said حما نيال اللي عنده ياي مرة مثلك good okay and if it's a man نيال اللي عنده رجال مثلك اوكي so I didn't say um, um, Joe's mitlak like husband. Like I say man, a man like you. Niel Lando, Joe's mitlak. Okay, you can say that. You see, I've just said I didn't say that. Like I would say to my husband if I had one, Niel Lando Rijel mitlak. Okay, or Joe's mitlak. Hundred percent correct, by the way. Okay, Taif. Let's say your mother-in-law or anyone, your mom, anyone cooked for you. Or somebody who helped you doing something with their hands. Hmm? The expression in English is, I'm going to say it in English. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, the expression in English is, may your hands kind of be in peace or health, you know. So you usually we use this expression when somebody cooks for us, when somebody helps us, maybe somebody carried my bag, maybe somebody fixed my car. What do I say? Let me see if anyone knows it before I turn my camera. It's, it has to do with the hands being in peace or safety or all of that. Thank you, Hatiji. Okay, Shu. I'm going to count till five. If you don't know it, I'm going to turn my camera. واحد, اثنين, ثلاثة, أربعة, خمسة. Okay. No, not تكرم عينك. تكرم عينك is you're welcome, Rosie. تسلم إيدك. Let's, let's correct it. Okay. You, you can say يسلم إيديك or um, تسلم إيدك. Okay, but I feel تسلم إيدك. I don't know if... I never say it. I'm sure people say it in Lebanon. But you can say يسلموا إيديك in the plural يسلموا إيديك Okay But you can also say it in a different way I wrote it here Look how I wrote it Yes, يلا say out loud with me Out loud, out loud, out loud يلا يسلموا 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 هل I'm not going to pronounce it هل Why? Because there's a دال here Whenever there's a دال I don't pronounce the lamb Because دال is a sun letter Head, head. Yislamu haddayet. Yislamu haddayet. Hi everyone, I'm gonna say hi to all of you later, okay? Yislamu haddayet. Yalla. Did you say it out loud? Yislamu haddayet. Dayet. Okay, let me say, show you in uh, Roman letters. I almost dropped my water. Yislamu haddayet. Yislamu Hadayet. Okay, so dayet means hands, but it's not a word we use actually in 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 speaking in spoken Arabic. Maybe it's an old-fashioned way of saying hands. I don't know, but we never say dayet uh, when I'm speaking Arabic. When I'm speaking Lebanese, merci. Oh, that's my mom. She said Yislam timmik shah. Yislam timmik. Yeah, I'll I'll explain it to you. That's Jackie, my mom. Okay. So, Yislamu Haddayid is uh, may your hands be uh, in peace, in, uh, uh, in health, okay? But as I said, we don't say Dayit when I'm speaking, masalan, uh, mabarf. Uh, I don't know. Dayitak Halloween, your hands are beautiful. You would just say Idik Halloween, okay? Which one did you miss? Yislamu uh, Haddayid? Ayala, I'm saying it now. But 
In this expression, we use the yet. Okay? Yislamu had the yet. You can also say yislamu hal idin. It's not wrong. Okay? Which means may your hands be in peace or may your hands be healthy. When somebody uh, helps us using their hand, يعني, we're saying thank you because you, you did something to us with their. Uh, <laughs> I made my mom have TikTok actually because of me, she has it. <laughs> Somebody saying, I wish my mom had TikTok. My mom is into technology. Anyways, so, basically, especially when somebody cooks for us, we say it. Okay. Uh, you're very welcome. And when somebody, let's say, fixes my car, when somebody carries my bags with their hands, they're helping us with their hands and we're saying thank you. Now, how do you say to your mother-in-law, or to your mom, or to your dad. This one has to be not someone from this, not from the same generation. I would say someone who's kind of the care, the, the caretaker, the responsible for us. Okay, uh, we would. I would say it to my mom. I would say it to my dad. I would say it to even my mom's friends and uh, all of that. I could say, like. My mom could say it to my uh, to my to my dad as well because you know my dad is the one who you know works and brings the money to the family you know we say we say these things so it's usually someone who kind of takes care of us we say this to them we say to them I'm gonna say the expression in English you say it in Arabic okay we say may God keep you above our head. I did a video like that a long time ago. I wish somebody saw it. If anyone saw it, tell me if you saw it and let me know what it means. How do you say in Arabic? May God keep you above our head. I'm gonna wait for you. Sure. If you learn the Lebanese dialect, go on. Okay, I'm going to answer. Of course you can. They are the same dialect. Levantine dialect. Palestinian, Jordan, Jordanian, Syrian and Lebanese are very close. Very close geographically. So we are the same dialect. But we have different accents. Even in the same country, we can have different accents. Okay? Yes, of course you can. Yes, of course you can answer, mom. Yalla. My mom wants to answer. Yalla, Jaki, Jaki. So... Uh, I watched the third one of Hal Hebron. Please, guys, don't ask me now. Later on, I'm gonna exp uh, uh, Okay, don't distract me, like, because I get carried away. So, Allah yikhalik fo... Not rasak, you're almost there. Rasak, your head. Ras... How do you say our head? Allah yikhalik fo... Yes, yes, that's it. Something like that. Someone saying, Allah yikhalik, something like that. Allah yikhalik fo rasna. Allah yikhalik fo rasna. And if it's a woman, Allah yikhalik fo rasna. Allah yikhalik fo rasna. Let me turn the camera to show you how we write it. Allah, God. Yikhalli means to keep. Yikhalli. It's not yikhalli. It's yikhalli. Yikhalli. Two syllables. Look how, how I'm pronouncing it. There is a spoon on the y. Y. Yikhalli. Yikhalli. يخلي. Now, when I add the key horn, this e here will be pronounced as an e. So I will say, يخليكي. Three syllables. يخليكي. Very good. Rasna, yes. Allah يخليكي. By the way, you, could, you can just say, Allah يخليكي. May God keep you. May God protect you. Okay? That would be totally correct. You don't have to say the full thing. Allah يخليكي. Okay, sometimes when we're begging someone in a way, we even say, Allah يخليك, Allah يخليك, like, please, you know, you're begging someone, okay? But that if you say, Allah يخليك, it's different, like, with, it depends on your tone. You see how just changing your tone changes the meaning? So, Allah يخليك فو راسنا. This is something, if I'm saying it to a woman, فو, above, راس means head, راسنا, the na here, means our head. Okay, here I wrote it differently. Allah yikhalil na yeke fo rasna. This is a bit long. Let's just say it. Allah yikhalike fo rasna. Okay. Allah yikhalike 
for Rasna. This is masculine. So if I'm, if I want to say it to um, my dad, masculine, or your 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 father-in-law, amkun, okay? كيف من أولا? How do we say it? Allah يخليكي فوق راسنا, correct? يلا, how are we gonna change it? You tell me. By the time you write it down, let me tell you the difference in the intonation. If I say Allah يخليك, you see how I did with my face? Allah يخليك. Allah يخليكي. And we said Allah يخليك. Allah يخليكي. Does that mean like God bless you or God keep you or God protect you? No, we're just saying like please, please, Allah يخليك ولو. Okay, Allah يخليك فوق راسنا. Very good, Sultan. Okay, شو الفرق بين يك وانت؟ Oh, long lesson. I I have a lesson on YouTube. I you can go and I can you can go to the playlist Lebanese Arabic grammar. You'll find it. Okay, long thing. Okay, but I just want to say it's called a detached pronoun. We put it after a fake verb or after pronouns. Long story. Let's not go there. Okay. For now, memorize this expression. Allah يخليك فوق راسنا if it's a man. Allah يخليك فوق راسنا. You're welcome, Baptiste. Okay, now. Now, let's say today your mother-in-law looks beautiful or your mom looks beautiful or anyone looks beautiful. Okay, you want to say, oh, you lightened the place. That's how we say it. Okay, let's see how we're going to give them a compliment now for the way they look. Okay, so we will say You can just say like that You see, look In this lesson, the most important thing is The way you say a sentence If I say Totally different meaning I would be saying, oh, good for you Like you did something stupid maybe Or uh, like, like, how can you do that? Okay, it's not like that اسم الله عليك يلا سيد دخيلو الله يس you can say that as well يلا I'm gonna say it now so يلا say it with me اسم الله عليك okay now if it's a man it's not عليك what is it يلا tell me am I gonna say اسم الله عليك what am I gonna say I'm waiting so wake me up when it's all over by the time you say it, I need to sleep and wake up. Shoo! TikTok is a bit slow. Smalla alayke. I say to a man, Smalla alayke. Smalla alayk. Bravo. Again. Smalla alayk. Bravo, everyone. But you have all nicknames on TikTok, so it's difficult to say your names. So, Smalla alayke. If it's a man, Smalla alayk. Alayk. One syllable. Alayk. Alayk. If it's a man, okay? Smalla alayk. منور uh, if it's a man and منورة if it's a woman نور بالعربي نور يعني light منور you are the person who lights up basically you've lightened up منورة in the feminine form منور in the masculine form منورة اليوم you've lightened up today it's mean, it means you've lightened up the place today يلا اسم الله عليك Yes, I'm going to show you the Arabic, but can uh, English, but can you promise me you're going to learn Arabic script? It takes one month. You can finish it. Okay. You can do some lessons even on YouTube. Okay. So, And if it's a man, am I going to say, Is that correct? Does the tema arbuta belong to a man or no? What should I say? I'm going to flip my camera now. Okay. So if it's a man, I'm going to say Smalla alayk Mnaw Not Mnoor, no Mnawar Yes, Baptiste Mnawar liyum Yani somebody's shining today You're saying to them, you're shining Mnawar liyum Aw Mnawra Okay Smalla alayk You look great, yani Okay Now uh, When somebody comes and we are happy that they came, okay? It has nothing to do with beauty. We, want, we just want to say, we're happy you came. We use the verb of mnawra. I didn't write it there. I'm going to type it here if I know how to type on TikTok way. So you say nawarit. It's the verb nawarit. Nawarit. It doesn't matter if a man came. It doesn't matter if a woman came. It doesn't matter if a group of people came. The expression is the same. Nawarit. Nawarit. 
Now, nun, somebody write it, please. Nun, wow, re, te. Now what it? It means because you came, we're happy. You lightened up the place. You light up the place. Okay, not lightened, right? Light up the place. We say. So, now what it? So next time somebody came, yes, now what it? Thank you. Now, next time somebody comes to your home or to where you are and you want to say, oh, I'm happy you came, you say, no worried, okay? No worried. So, the expression is no worried when you're happy, but when it's a compliment, you say, smalla alayki, nawra alyum. Today, you're, you're like, you're full of light, okay? Yalla, the next one, Okay, I'm not going to say it to see if anyone knows it, okay? Because some people are from Ar um, from Arabic background. Maybe you live in, in the States and you have parents who are Arabic speakers, so you might have heard this. We say to a woman, like, you know, a woman, like who you're a real woman, we say, the lady of the ladies. Can you guess what it means? How to say it? Anyways, can does anyone know Shriya'ani lady bil Arabic? شو يعني كيف منقول ليدي بالعربي؟ Yes, did you know it or did you ask someone do you speak Arabic, Sultan? ست الستات good, very good everyone. So I'm so happy that some people know it. Okay, so ست الستات okay. مساء الخير مساء الخير شكرا كتير. Okay, so uh, في شخص من الجزائر There's someone from Jazeera saying they love the Lebanese accent. Thank you so much. Okay, so you asked. <laughs> Who did you ask, Sultan? So, sit means lady. Sitet means ladies. Sit sitet, يعني the lady of the ladies. Sit sit. Sometimes, you know, Lebanese people even do this when somebody comes, you know. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. So, sit sitet. Let's turn it to see... Uh, how we say it. You say it, you can totally say it to your mother-in-law. She will be really happy when you say it to her. Sit sitet. The lady of the ladies. You can say it to your mom. You can say it to any woman who's elegant. So it's sit sitet. Sit sitet. Okay, you can oh, you can say it to the grandmother. Exactly. Very good question. Somebody is asking me, asking me, isn't it the grandmother? Sit is a grandmother okay why is it sit the grandmother because we ref we think of the grandmother as the lady of the family that's why we call her sit okay uh, it, the actual word in arabic is jadda jadda okay but when it comes to the dialect we say sitte my grandmother i never say we never say jaddati or something like that no we say sitte my grandmother which means my lady sitte you see how nice arabic is she's my lady that's why she's my grandmother okay but when you say sit it can be any any lady so if you want to say what a lady you say she has sit we understand she's an elegant lady shu hal sit what a lady say it with me شو هالست تيتا is not a slang word it's the way you say like in English when, you, when you're directly addressing yourself to the grandma you say تيتا it's not I wouldn't consider it slang I would consider it part of the dialect so basically someone is asking me yes he uh, is asking me تيتا is slang تيتا is like نان you know when you're speaking to your grandmother you say نانا or نان like that تيتا okay so ست is my grandmother but if I'm speaking to her I wouldn't tell her sitte I say teta kind of like I'm pampering her okay teta yes not only in Tripoli in everywhere in Lebanon we say teta okay tayy uh, so if you want to say as I was saying what a lady you say shu has sit shu hell sit but you're pronouncing it shu has sit yes you can say sitto as well shu has sit she has sit. What a lady. And you understand? She's elegant. Now, my dad loves it when I call him this expression. Let's see what is it. It is... Sheikh al-Shabib. Sheikh al-Shabib. Okay? Anyone will be happy hearing this. It can be a young person. It's usually a young person. But if you say it to an older person in his 60s and 70s or 80s, oh, they will be very happy. Sheikh al-Shabib. 
Sheikh or Sheikh. You can pronounce it Sheikh or Sheikh. Sheikh is Shabib. Sheikh is Shabib. Okay. Shabib means two things. Let me explain to you. Shabib. Did you say it out loud with me before I explain it? Did you say it out loud? Tell me. Sheikh is Shabib. Sheikh is Shabib. Let me tell. Yes, Nancy Ajram has a song. Go type it on YouTube. You will understand why it's called Sheikh al Shabib. Okay? Because she's describing some, some young man he, who is the, like we said, the lady of the ladies, like the best one basically. Sheikh al Shabib is like the, the, the best of the guys, of the young man. Shabib means two things it's the plural form of young people or a young man, but it also means youth, Shabib. Ishabib means the young man. Sheikh Shabib with the liaison. Notice how here I'm not pronouncing Sheikh Il Shabib because the letter Sheen is a sun letter. A sun letter, yes? So you don't say Sheikh Il Shabib. This L, we don't pronounce it. Sheikh Shabib. Sheikh Shabib. The, the, the leader of the young man. Okay, now, I, w I wanted to explain the word sheikh, which I find difficult to, to translate into English, because a lot of times in English, it's even translated as sheikh. So I went here and found some definitions. First of all, look, it says here, let me read them out loud for you. It says, it could be the chief of a tribe, okay? But we also use sheikh as well as somebody who's older in age or experienced Thank you, everyone. Thank you. So, Sheikh, okay? And you sometimes we use it in the feminine form, Sheikha, Sheikha, okay? Sheikh or Sheikha, so the, a chief of a tribe. Uh, a leader, a master, an older person who's wise, okay? And even here I saw someone, uh, 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 one of the definitions is like a member of the, like, of the Senate. He's a senator. So that's Sheikh, but it's also a title. Okay, in Arabic countries, you know, when you go to Arabic countries, Sheikh, Muhammad, Sheikh, I don't know, you know. So that's the same one, Sheikh, because he's meant to be the best, the leader. So when you say Sheikh is Shabib, kind of he's the leader of the young man, that's why he's the best, the best one, okay. Sheikh is Shabib. But when you say Sheikh is Shabib, it's not the old and wise man, no. He's the young, the best of the young men. That's why when I say to my dad, Anta Sheikh al Shabib, oh, he will be very happy. Why? Because he feels young, because he's the best of the young people, Sheikh al Shabib. So if you say it to, a, as I said, to a man in his 70s, 80s, 60s, they will take it as a compliment that they still look young and they are really good. Okay? Sheikh al Shabib. So that's a compliment you can give to. Uh, a man, obviously, okay? Now, let's go back to a, to a compliment. I'm just... Should I? Oh, no, no. You know what? I'm just going to give you one more and the rest we can continue tomorrow because uh, it's too much for one day, okay? So let's do one more. Actually, let's not do one more just to, to keep the suspense. Let's do a, a revision, okay? Yalla. Let's do a quick revision. Uh, I said that we have an expression مثل الحما والكنة مثل الحما والكنة شو يعني مثل الحما والكنة is it a nice uh, is it a nice relationship is it something that uh, people uh, use because they're giving each other compliments why do we use مثل الحما والكنة yeah by the by the time somebody gives me an answer I want to remind you guys something very 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 important since you are here live let me tell you something a lot of times when I go live, people miss the lives, okay? So you don't miss the live. Go to my page when we finish. There you will find a bell. It's very easy. You will find the bell. You click on the bell. When you click on the bell, you will get a message saying, get all live notifications. Click on it. And when I'm live, you will uh, get a notification and you can come watch me if you're free, okay? The second thing is that, as I always say, it's important to learn on social media, a sentence here, an expression there. But if you're serious about learning a language, I really recommend doing a course with the structure. It doesn't have to be my courses. It can be with anyone else, but it has to be something with structure, with a roadmap, with a goal. You achieve one goal today, another goal, another day. 
For these, I created 30-day challenge courses. These are very challenging and very intensive courses, but also very clear. And I'm always there to answer students' questions. Also, pe people text me on WhatsApp whenever they have a question. There are free Q&A sessions and you have a program. Exactly, you know, on day one, I will learn this. On day two, I will learn this. And there are levels all the way from absolute beginners to advanced. And if you want to learn spoken Arabic, Levantine Arabic is a very good choice because it's widely understood and spoken in all Arabic countries because of the talk shows we have, because of the songs that we have. So Egyptian and Levantine are both very good to learn. So, yalla, when I was saying, مثل الحمل والكنة يعني two people who argue like, thank you, thank you, you have a beautiful energy for saying that. Okay? مثل الحمل والكنة يعني two people who argue a lot. How do, what does it mean when you say عم ببيض وجه? Literally, he's whitening the face. Or عم ببيض تناجر. He's whitening paws. Or if I say to someone, uh, Okay. أهلا وسهلا فيكي بالتيك توك. So, ما تبيض وجه. Or ما تبيض تناجر. Don't whiten pots or don't whiten a face. What does it mean? Don't give fake compliments. Good. Okay. Not only just fake compliments, you know, when you need something from someone and you're being just like, oh, the one who's just only like, uh, you know, uh, caressing them just because you need something. Yeah. Okay. If I say to someone, lucky is the person who has a wife like you, mother-in-law like you. Uh, slimming? Is it the word? Slimming? I never heard of it. Okay. How do you say in Arabic? Lucky is the person who has a wife like you, a husband like you, a mother-in-law like you. How do we say it? The actual word, we like to use it a lot in Lebanon. I don't like to use it very much, to be honest, when I'm directing it to someone because I feel it's not envious, but يعني when you say to someone, lucky you. This expression, I love to use it. نيال اللي عنده... I said it, خلاص, okay. نيال اللي عنده حما مثلك or نيال اللي عنده حما مثلك. Do you see how fast I said it? You can get as fast as that. نيال اللي عنده حما مثلك or مثلك. I'm not showing you now. It's okay, you can watch them later on. Okay? I just went... بعدني رايح. Again, I have another lesson on this. You have to watch it. Okay, anyways, um, so when I, I, I was saying which, why I don't like to use the word niyel when I'm saying it directly. Let's say, for example, I say to Rosie, oh, niyelik, or niyelak, and I lucky you, or I envy you. It's like, it's nothing. People say it, it's a, it's a fun word, but I don't like to say it as, as much as I can in order not to say, oh, I want to be like you, or I also want to do the same thing you're doing, you know? Instead... We can say, oh, I'm happy for you. Basatillak or something like that. When somebody cooks for us, when somebody helps us with their hands, when somebody um, carries our bags, fixes our car, but especially when they cook for us, what do we say? May these hands be blessed. How do you say it in Arabic? Kif man ula bil Arabi? So... How do we say it? كيف منقول بالعربي? Thank you for سلم دييتك yes or يسلموا هالدييت. We said يسلموا هالدييت. Papa Shango said سلم دييتك which is also 100% correct. يسلموا هالدييت. Very good. And when I say اسم الله عليك منورة اليوم. شو يعني اسم الله عليك. اسم الله by, by the way let's break اسم الله. اسم الله me comes from the expression in Arabic. Ism, which means name, and Allah God, like in the name of God, Smalla, okay? Ism Allah. But when I say Smalla, it's like, oh, touch wood, touch wood, Smalla. So when somebody is looking very beautiful today, you say Smalla. Or a cute baby, Smalla, Smalla, Shumahudum. Okay? That's what it means. Smalla alayke, touch wood on you, kind of. Mnawra, yani, you've, you, what does it mean? Shi yani? يلا قلوا لي اسم الله عليك منورة uh, I wanted to say something and not only beautiful like when I say اسم الله about someone when maybe they're smart maybe they have a beautiful home 
maybe they uh, they are really intelligent anything that is like touch wood okay smalla okay uh so uh, they may okay yeah i will say it in the end wait till the end okay so i add it they may remind me you light up the place very good Naura. Naura, yani you're beautiful okay Naura liom but when i say it as a verb it means ah the place lit up because you're here i'm very happy that you came yes yes your light your light some like you shine the light on others okay how do we say the lady of the ladies you are the best lady basically you're the most elegant the best lady the lady of the ladies and how do we say the the, the young man of the young man like the the leader of the best of the man it can also be negative when they say smalla you've got bigger <laughs> yeah it depends on the intonation yeah smalla like maybe they're being polite to say like smalla you put on ways yeah but they're trying to make it like you know yeah touch wood but it's not yeah yes is shabib so shalouvre is asking me is it negative when you say smalla not necessarily but she said to me because they say smalla no you nashane like when i go to lebanon if they want to say to me oh you put on weight and they don't want to be that impolite they still say it but they say smalla nashane so yeah it can be in that sense yeah politely negative okay yes sheikh shabib very good rosy and sit sitet very good sit sitet the lady of the ladies and sheikh shabib that was it for today i still have one two three four five and a half i can add one or two for tomorrow we can have a lesson maybe tomorrow or the day after i can announce it okay usually i announce these on my instagram before i do go live on tiktok anyone has a question oh uh Dame, uh who asked me about Dame? Dame is related to the verb in standard arabic dama yadumu it lasts Dame kind of literally means the laster but it has nothing to do with that it kind of means may it last may it last okay so far you're following but this expression we use it only when we have had a big lunch or a nice dinner or a big table of food and we are finished and we want to say thank you we say deime deime memorize it it's such a nice and warm expression deime as a way to say i hope these types of gatherings and food and happy moments and nice times with with nice gatherings over food last okay we have more of them basically that's why we say we use the expression deime dal alif ye mim te marbuta deime okay usually it's about food and i think that's it for today yalla who has a question thank you rosie thank you thank you thank you you should see rosie she she's saying i'm the best teacher but she is the most determined student ever in existence really okay to come in anyone had a question if you had a question and i didn't answer it because there's so many comments uh somebody told me marhaba khelte am i that old to call me khelte <laughs> okay uh yalla ask me a question because there are so many comments maybe i didn't see the question okay but thank you all 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 for your beautiful 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 comments okay uh if there's no questions i just want to say thank you and i will see you soon and hope to see you someday in one of my classes slash courses either live or in the pre-recorded sessions much love bye guys thank you so much love you lots